Hello everyone, welcome back to the Catholic Gamer Dude Plays FTL. We are in Sector 6. I don't think we've ever gotten this far since uh, I've started doing this. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's a store. We're going to go to... We're not going to go to a store. This is stupid. Um, we only have 19 scrap. We have like 20 drone parts though. I really want to buy ourselves a uh, drone defensive system. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Okay, so you can reach if you go the top branch here. Does it make more sense? To, I think it makes more sense to go down though, because that gives us more jumping options. Well, let's start here, and we encounter a ship. We know anyone foolish enough to try and sneak through a slug nebula would stick out in open space. Yield all goods, and we might let you live. You cut transmission in lieu of a response. All right, so. What do we want to target first? We want to target their shield systems. We want to target their weapon systems. Let's see how well these new burst lasers come in handy. We have to punch through three units worth of shields. Which we did, but... And we damaged their shields, but now we gotta put those lasers back on. Get those lasers back on and take down their shot, their uh... You got right. So we're training fire on them, and this is what I was talking about with trying to upgrade the burst laser, the uh, the weapon system as quickly as possible. Because, whoa! All right, so they duck, they dodged quite a bit of that, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to double up on that. Let's see if we can get these burst lasers off before anything else goes off. All right, yep. All right. So we got their piloting system down. And we'll take out their weapon systems again because as long as they're putting out the fire, they won't be able to actually steer their ship. So everything hits now. Let's see. 4, 30. Nah. Well, let's finish them off. And we'll train one of the burst lasers on their piloting again. Oh. Then again, every once in a while, you're just going to miss with whiff with everything. And they hit with everything, too, so. But we got him. And that's that. 56 scrap, one missile, one drone part. And it would be nice if we could hit up that store now that we've actually got stuff to is it worth it come down here come across come across that way eh. if i had just a little bit more scrap i might be willing to do it but i feel like it's just not in the right area let's proceed with the original plan and let's see, there are a few more vicious beasts in the galaxy than a slug with his back to the wall. The faltering ship armed with fire weapons using remote hacking tool try to disable your door system. They're going to burn you out. Continue. Okay. Well, they disabled the door system and the sensors are out. Ugh, look at this guy. They got two beam weapons, but I don't think they have enough to actually penetrate the shields. Let's see. So concentrate all fire on the shields first. We want to take that sucker down so that our bursts become more effective. Nope. All right. Train all fire. Actually, I think we may be better served if we target their cockpit. I think we're all right. All right. Targeted their cockpit. Now we can target their shields. Assuming we get those burst lasers back up. All right. Now we're starting to do some damage. Punch through that. Punch through that. Spread the love. And uh, we'll just keep on doing this. They can't really touch us unless we hit some real bad misfortune. Actually, I m may want to barrage them one more time. 
on the cockpit. Oh. Just kind of just trading shots here. I can actually hurt them. They can just... They can't hurt me. I can just barely hurt them. So what that really means is that we're going to need to figure out... The next level of our weaponry, and we're in Sector 6. So this is the other thing I was a little concerned about, which is... Our weaponry is of... Shield penetration. Let's see, the ship's legs apart and uses return to normal. You collect what you can. Let's see. Uh, they fried our door system. Can come down here. So we need to do anything else? No, not really. Can we upgrade the weapon system? I think now. 80. That should be alright. Just in case we run into a situation that we can't just penetrate their shields, having an extra um, missile system will help out, and then we can replace it later if we need to. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No, one may, no doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. Hail them. So you hail the refugee ship, a pirate comes into the system. All right, well, that is... Very well armed. Ion, missile, burst, and then another laser. Alright. What do we want to take out first? We want to hit shield systems. We want to hit the cockpit. We want to hit. Uh, no, what? Uh, stop that. Okay. Now we want to hit the cockpit. And we want to hit the weapon systems. What the heck? Did we just trade shots and completely annihilate our... Uh... Oh, great. Come on, guys. Start dodging. Ugh. All right. Get that Artemis back up. Fire. Ugh. Take that cockpit down. All right. Now that we got the cockpit down, we can at least start targeting their other systems. Probably want to take down that cloaking device. Actually, take that down. Oh, I took you down. All right. Ah, uh, they're back up. Take down the shields, take down the weapon systems. Dodge. Thank you. Okay. Take their shields down, take their missiles down. All right. Now we're starting to make headway. Still want to take down their cloaking device. Oh, should have held on to that. Still, I think eh, I don't want to pump a missile into them. Still, I think we got them. Need that one last missile. Contact the refugee ship. Two missiles, one fuel, 51 scrap. Refugee ship thanks you for your assistance, and you get 26 scrap, one fuel, and one drone part. Oh, jump. There's another store! Yay! Let's see if we pick up something to replace the Artemis. Uh, huge slugs, teleports, and then thingies. Whatevers. Another burst laser. Mark II. Hmm. 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 Gosh. Need to think about that one for a minute. Don't need the scrap recovery arm. There's a cloaking and then a drone control. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yes, I think I want this. I've never actually tried to have a full-on ship, and that's 75. Unfortunately, I cannot upgrade to the full one that I want. The the uh, to get that pick up that extra slot. But I do have enough to do a repair arm and a scrap recovery arm. And Or, or let's see, da, 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 da. boost the ship's recharge, shields recharge rate by 15%. Not too keen on that. What do we? What else do we offer? 75. Sell. Do we sell the Artemis? I don't think we do. No, we can't actually because we don't have enough power. So I think we will just heal up and then call it. Gonna move on to the next sector. And here we are in another fight. Attack the automated ship to get to the station, yes. That is not horrible. Be very interested to see if I can upgrade soon. Let's see what we can pull off first. And get that out of the way. I should have bought a few more missiles, but I think we'll be alright. Good. Now we can hit the cockpit. Alright. Now we've taken that out. Next is the shield system. Hopefully we can pick up enough scrap here. Fifty-seven. Investigate the station. Breach bomb mark two. Ooh. Ship equipment. That is a required power one. Shield piece piercing five. No, wait. That's not looking at one. Hey. <laughs> required power two. Breach chance high. Crew damage. System damage. That is exactly what I'm looking for for my final piece for the breach for the for my systems. The breach bomb will teleport instantly. It requires 17 seconds to charge, so it's it's slower than the Artemis. But when it teleports, it causes all kinds of havoc. It can take down as potentially as many as two levels of shield with that system damage of three, a crew damage of 45, and could potentially rip a hole in, a hole in their hull. I like it a lot. And with that, I can bring my burst laser up to have nine shots, which is really sweet. Let's see, so, our weapon systems are actually looking pretty good now. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's see, you explore around the beacon and are shocked when a rock size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you. Scans reveal the solid rock is just a husk, almost entirely mined out of useful materials. There is a store up here. I want to hit up that store because we're starting to run low on fuel. Continue. Let's see, eh, there's a burst level, level 3, I'm not crazy about burst level 3 because it requires 4 power, and the other thing too is, if you notice, all of my weapons are require level t uh, 2 power, and there's a reason for that, is because our systems, <clears throat> excuse me, our systems, um, uh, what am I trying to say, the... We only have, if you go to the ship dialog, there, uh, the screen, there's only room for two levels of activated weaponry, or eight total. So you can only have about eight, um, wep eight uh, power in your weapon systems. And I think, I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure that the, the, uh, this cruiser, this Kestrel, the, the benefit is, is that you have four weapon slots. So you can spread the damage out and 
you know, basically ping away at the ship that you're trying to, to take down. Whereas um, other ships may only have one or two weapon systems in those, so that's why you get something like a burst laser Mark III, so that you can have you can dump as much power as you want, but you only have a couple of slots to do that with. So let's do that. We're going to eight buy one more, purchase that. Don't need an ion bomb. Don't need heavy iron. Don't want any of that stuff. Hopefully in the last sector, we can get enough scrap to... Actually, is this the last thing? Jump. We're in sector six. So we have one... Okay, yeah. So we do have one more sector, sector seven. And hopefully once we're in there, we can get enough stuff, enough scrap to buy what we need, which is going to be the... Uh, at the very least, we're going to need a cloaking device. We'll probably need more than that. I would like to see if we can buy a couple of beefy crew members for a crew teleporter. <coughs> Excuse me. A crew teleporter. But I'm not getting my hopes up at this point. Let's go down. And we get ourselves a ship encounter. Slug ship, a rogue you suspect, approaches. When he sees your federation, he thinks better of the sneak attack and fires everything he has. All right, that is a hull, that is a burst three, that is one, and that's a missile launcher. So we want to take this guy out. All right, so we are trained on that. We're gonna take down that cockpit. All right, so that could have gone better, but I'm not upset. Dodge. Good. All right. We can take down their shield systems. That cockpit is toast. Every single one of those shots hit. And every single one of that shot hit. Okay. Dodge. Great. This is the other reason why we want a drone control. All right, we accept what's in our stores in exchange for our lives. Sure. Transfer a meager amount of material. There, now you keep your word. Great. Never trust a slug, I guess, is the moral of today's story. Still, I think that proves the uh, efficacy of these multiple burst lasers, as long as you can get them synced up. And we get ourselves yet another slug ship. A slug ship, a rogue, etc., etc. All right, everybody back to stations. That's a lot of burst fire, but I think we'll be all right. Okay. Target the cockpit with everything. All right, so far so good. Now then. All of that. Oh! Okay, well. That was actually pretty clever. Good job. I applaud them for that. I want to try that again. So right now we're just trading fire. How are they cut? Are they, are they cutting through? I don't know if they're cutting through. And let's see. Let's take down their shields. Powering up their FTL. Can't have that. And nope. I want them dead and in the ground. Oh, okay. Smart of them. Still, we can get them. 
you're done. You got them. Fire! Yeah. There we go. 44 scrap. Oh, alright. Anybody need healing? The boy. Get into the med bay. So as you can see, something like, and that's why a breach uh, would actually be really useful. In fact, I might have started playing around with that in that last encounter, is to, it gives you the ability to target something like that evil cloak to kind of take it down. And then opens up a hole in their ship so that you can start, uh, so that you'd be able to, to, delay them in repairing that system. Let's see here. Slug Vessel Encounter has obviously made a big score. It's looking to test his new armaments. Okay. In fact, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. <clears throat> this is a bit more well-armed than the last one that we encountered. Let's see. Go ahead, and then target everything. Okay. <clears throat> now they can't escape. All right. Oh. How'd you guys cloak? That's not fair. Hang on. Missile. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, let's see. What do we got here? I think it may be more prudent to take down their, their weapon system. Okay. Oh. We may have to beat a hasty retreat on this. I don't want to. But it may be. Hmm, okay. Let's head to the exit. Alright, FTL system. Okay, now we can get in there. Heal all that. Get to the... Um, actually. Cancel all that. Back to stations. Except for... You, Steven. You stay there. You get healed up. Yep. Gonna vacuum out of the space because there's a fire going on in here. I was not aware of that. That's one of the reasons why we we're taking as much damage as we did. Get into an O2 room. Alright, so the fire is out. Close everything. Power up the oxygen. Everybody pile in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Flood the room with air. Get those shields back online. In fact, actually flood the whole thing. Ooh. Sometimes you just have to beat a retreat, you know? All right. Get everybody healed up. And that's that. And then heal up myself. All right. But all's well that ends well. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why aren't I healing? It's because I powered down the med bay. All right. There we go. At the exit, we have time to visit one more jump node. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And...
only slug ships are docked. Never mind. We go back. That was disappointing, but hey, it happens too. Here we are, jumping. We're gonna jump to the next sector. We go to Rebel Controller, the Zoltan Homeworlds. Ooh, tough call. I feel like we have to hit up the Rebel Control because they'll have the most um, normal-ish ships and we want to encounter as much as we can in order to get this to... Uh, in order to get as much scrap as possible because this next sector is the last one and we still are in dire need of a few systems as well as a weapons upgrade. So. We're going to hit up Herbal Control. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been that Catholic Gamer Dude playing FTL, and I will see you next time.